do now is go on to global KPIs and metrics, which are defined internationally, but these aren't, these are um, standards in the sense, but they are standardized KPIs and metrics. So they are the things we use to measure uh, and evaluate data centers. Um, a lot of these things we actually commonly reference, but we don't necessarily know where they come from, as I said. So moving on. ISO, international and independent non-governmental membership organization and the world's largest developer of voluntary international standards. So you'll have heard of ISO, almost certainly. ISO 9000, ISO 9001, ISO 50000, ISO 27000. There are lots of ISOs out there, uh, not just referencing data centers, but referring all sorts of other elements of business practice, quality, um, energy management, environmental management, etc. We've all come across ISO in different ways. Uh, ISO works alongside the International Electrotechnical Commission, IEC, in the development of emerging data, international data center standards. Specifically, IC, ISO IEC JCT1 SC39 Working Group 1, um, and I apologize for all the numbers, acronyms, and whatever, but this is the arcane world of standards, I'm afraid. Um, if you do need more information, the deck is available, or you can come to myself or the, or the Upsite guys to, uh, to find out exactly what these are all about. Um, but this particular committee, Working Group 1, are responsible for development of the ISO IEC 30134 series of standardized KPIs and metrics. And these relate to data center resource efficiency. Oh, KPIs, key performance indicators. You'll also notice that there's an inconsistency of spelling of the word center throughout this deck. So clearly being based in the UK and Europe, I use the, the center spelt C-E-N-T-R-E, -E, um, the more international spelling, but of course there is also the, the more US spelling, which is the uh, T-E-R ending. Um, I use center where appropriate in this because the titles of documents, both the ISO documents and the European documents all use the, the international or, or UK version of center. Um, so they are the correct document titles. Um, I'm quite happy using either, but I am referring to the correct um, document title when I'm using the RE version. So just to, uh, to highlight that it's not a spelling error, basically. Um, so the 3134 series does include PUE. A lot of people still seem to feel that the, that the green grid is responsible for PUE. That is, not, that is no longer the case. The green grid developed PUE, um, but actually then invaded it across to ISO IEC, and it is now uh, developed and defined by Working Group 1. And there is a standardized metric out there, which is referenced as ISO IEC 30134-2. Oops. So I'm not sure which, oh, I think I may have hit, yeah, so I wasn't sure how many times I'd hit the key there. So this is a list of the um, standardized KPIs in the 30134 series. So we've got a part one, the overview and general requirements. Um, part two is, is probably the one that people are most aware of in terms of knowing the name PUE. They may not know that, that PUE is actually defined by this document. Um, it is no longer defined by the green grid document. So if you're referencing a green grid document, um, you're probably not referencing PUE anymore. You're referencing something else. So any proper measurement or, or, or reference to PUE should be made according to this document. Otherwise, again, it's something else entirely. We've also got one on renewable energy factor, REF. So that's the amount of renewable energy that you're actually taking into your site, um, that you're actually using. And then we go on to additional metrics, which again, people are very unfamiliar with and not really uh, aware of. So we've actually got energy efficiency metrics for servers defined within this, uh, within this series. And we've also got equipment utilization levels for servers. So as, as we're all aware, it's important to measure server energy efficiency, um, but it's also important to measure how much those servers are being utilized. You know, typically across the data center estate, we'll see a fairly low level of utilization from zero in some cases, uh, through up to, you know, maybe 20, 30, possibly 40% at the very maximum. But typically speaking, we don't really go much beyond about, uh, much beyond that, even with virtualization. So um, it's a pretty useful metric that is, is relatively um, unknown and, and relatively poorly used. Then we have energy reuse factor, um, which is actually not a published standard yet. That's at the final um, stage of, of, of discussion. 
um, that should be released fairly shortly. And that's basically the amount of, of energy that you're able to reuse, typically in the form of so-called waste heat that comes out of your center and you can possibly use in, in, in some manner or other, obviously various alternatives available there. Uh, and then we go down into a couple of other uh, uh, metrics that you may have come across, uh, which again are still in discussion, um, still still under under development, uh, but should be released very shortly. I think we're in the final stages there. Um, so carbon usage effectiveness, water usage effectiveness, and and these relate to, as you might imagine, to the the power usage effectiveness that we talked about earlier. So it's you know it's 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 the how much uh, overhead is a building providing. Um, in terms of its carbon output or its use of water, how much are we? How much of those resources are we actually consuming and/or putting into the environment? Um, so similar to uh, similar to the way we use PUE, but not the same as obviously. And just to reiterate a previous comment, um, PUE is now properly defined as ISO IEC. 30134-2 if you're not using that you're you're basically not referencing PUE so anything that you're reporting measuring doing whatever with um, basically again if you're not if you're not referencing that document you're not you're doing something else entirely um, the the important thing to realize about PUE um, not only is that the way it's defined but it's not an energy efficiency metric and it does sort of frustrate me continually that people refer to PUE as an energy efficiency metric it's not um, never has been, never will be. Um, so uh, possibly one for questions later, and, and do feel free to challenge me on that if you feel it's appropriate, um, but PUE is not an energy efficiency metric. So um, one of the things about these standardized metrics is that they are um, often used, but not necessarily always appreciated where they've come from and, and, and what the true reference point is. Um, they are considered useful, they are routinely referenced, but um, some of them are probably less well common, less, less commonly known, less well used. And, and I think it's probably appropriate that people are aware that they exist and, and possibly start to use them, particularly when we start talking about the IT estate. You know, we, we continue to look at what the way a building might be performing and, and the, the building infrastructure, but I think we're, we're less good at looking at the way the IT infrastructure performs. Uh, and some of these metrics and KPIs actually start to allow us to be able to do that, which I think is, is probably a very good thing. Um, Generally, the awareness of, of the 3134 series is, is pretty poor. Um, I routinely talk to people who aren't aware that it exists, uh, that it's out there, it's published, it's extant, uh, and, and, and people should probably be using it. Um, and as a result of that, I, I do see relatively <laughs> regular attempts to reinvent the wheel. Um, I, I saw someone published recently, um, well, late last year, a, a paper that suggested that um, water usage effectiveness would be a, a good metric. Um, not realizing that actually ISO IEC have actually been working on it for two years. So um, again, we do get regular um, efforts to reinvent the wheel that, um, you know, probably don't really help. Worth noting again that none of these measures are, uh, none of these are direct measures of overall data center energy efficiency. We, we, we're still missing that. Um, data center, uh, uh, going to the final bullet, energy efficiency needs to, from, from a pure physics perspective needs to reference useful work done. At the moment, we have no way of measuring the useful work done in the data center. There are lots of proxies that we might be able to use, but there is no way of measuring the useful work done. You know, if you think about it in a very, very pure sense, you know, what are we doing in a data center? Well, we're, we're sort of ordering electrons or converting electrons to photons and back again. Um, how do we define that as useful work done? Um, very, very difficult, and which is why we still do not have a, an energy metric for a data center as, a, as an entity, as a whole. Um, and I still think we've got somewhere to go on that. The other one that's still missing is, uh, is availability, as I said. Um, there is actually work underway to try and better uh, measure uh, and, and reference availability. It's actually being done in Germany. And it will be adopted as part of this series when it when it's done, but it's very very early days yet. Um, and the reason the nines don't work is that uh, six nines by SLA still allow for 32 seconds approximately, somewhere between 31 and 32 seconds of downtime per year, which you might think is 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 not great. Um, 32 seconds power outage in a data center is is going to leave you you know completely stranded for for several hours and and possibly days. 
Um, but it does get slightly worse than that. So not only can we get 32 seconds of, of, of downtime per year by SLA, so we'll still be within SLA, um, we could have 32 one second outages or 64 half second outages, 128 quarter second outages, each of which will have exactly the same impact. It'll take, take down the entire IT estate. So, um, you know, stating six nines is, is meaningless unless it, there's a very, very explicit reference to what we're talking about by six nines. You know, is it packet loss? Is it energy? Is it cooling? Is it, is it service availability? Um, it, you know, unless that's defined, it's a, it's a kind of meaningless metric. Just, just quoting, you know, 99% or more uptime is, is kind of pointless, really. It doesn't mean anything. So we do need something better. Um, and we don't have anything at the moment. We will hopefully have something in the not too distant future. There are additional standards, uh, standardized KPIs out there. Um, I'm not going to get read through the list. You can do that for yourselves. Um, so what I've given you is not exhaustive, um, but I do think that uh, 30134 series is the most important uh, and really the most commonly referenced, even if people don't necessarily know what they're referencing. Um, this one is hit, hit merely here for your, for your reference.